the show. Pedal Magazine, we're with Rafael Gagne after a very strong finish here. 15, you came in 14th. Excellent. It's been a huge year for you. Your form is amazing right now. What were your expectations today? Um, coming off after uh, a, a good North American World Cups uh, here in the top 20, I would have been happy. And today I finished uh, 14th. I've been strong the whole race and uh, I've been picking up spot through the race today, so I'm uh, I'm happy with 14th, and uh, I think I think that's a, a good benchmark for uh, for Worlds in uh, two weeks from now. Absolutely, on this course, the Black Snake. For you, uh, is this one of your favorite courses? Here, it's a it's a good course, definitely some good power climbs. Uh, maybe a little too much flats, in my opinion, for me, but. Uh, and definitely I wish it, it would have been a little more technical, but it's a, a good overall course and uh, I, I'm happy with what I've done uh, today physically, tactically and technically. Yeah, Mount St. Anne's everywhere, you're really strong. Uh, Canadian, this is somewhat similar to Mount St. Anne's, although there's differences. You feel this is uh, a good jump start for the Worlds in, a, in another week? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, as I, as I said, uh, here I, w I wanted to get another maybe top 20 and I get 14. So, good benchmark, good uh, good tune-up, good good test for Worlds and uh, I'm, I'm confident uh, my fitness is still going to be there and uh, hopefully improving. Right. Were you picking off anybody today? Were you taking some wheels? Uh, sure. I was trying to benefit from, you know, strategy, uh, some drafting on the flat section. So second half of the the, the course was uh, two flat straightaways. So uh, definitely be in a group and uh, try to benefit from drafting. And the uh, first half of the race uh, of the lap is where you you make your move uh, physically up the climbs and technically down the hill. Strategies for uh, the World Championships. You've been obviously training for it. Uh, look, going into it, what is your focus? My focus is just like keep doing simple things, uh, things that have been uh, successful this year for me, so basically keep my head cold. Um, I think people uh, are, are more, more excited than I am for Worlds. I mean, I'm excited for it, but there's there's nothing different for me happening until uh, from now until Worlds. I mean, uh, I keep doing my, my, my best trainings and uh, train hard, recover, and uh, keep the head cold for Worlds. Last question, anything uh, changed between this year and last year with your training, nutrition, etc.? For my training? Yes. Uh, not much, actually. That's that's a big question people are asking. Um, the little thing is uh, health has really been on my side uh, this year, and I think uh, it's because I've been put putting maybe less pressure and less emphasis on the first half of the season, uh, either um, physically for the trainings, but uh, also for the racing, like March, April, May. Uh, I did put less focus on this to be uh, it's a less less uh, intensity wise prepared, but uh, it's definitely paying off in the second half of the season, where I'm able to perform and train art. Absolutely. Well, great race today. Congratulations. We'll see you next week. Thank you very much.